my session uh, was uh, widely discussed the why there are barriers and which uh, barriers are uh, that limits access to clinical trends in uh, this region of Europe. Because it was nicely shown in the report, uh, really nicely done by the MP, MPI, MPE, that uh, mm, that there are running only 6% of clinical trials, but the region of Central and Eastern Europe uh, make up 26% of population of European Union. So it's significant, it's definitely opportunity and a big challenge for this country to improve access to clinical trials. Uh, and we, we have to work on it. It was uh, nicely, nicely discussed during the session here in this meeting. And I think that uh, in my presentation, I try to, to show the positive example how it should work in other department of hemato-oncology in other countries. So to me, there, are, there is clear preconditions which uh, have to be fulfilled Otherwise, this country or these departments can run the clinical trials. And this critical precondition is to establish the clinical trial units. Without clinical tri trial units, currently you can run clinical trials. Because clinical trials in, in especially hemato-oncology are very difficult. It's really a lot of work. And that can be done by physicians. You need special data managers, you need research nurse, you need support from hospital. So, so that's really important to establish clinical trial units. So um, I will talk about um, access to the clinical trials by, uh, from Croatia position, because when we discuss about Central uh, Eastern European countries, there are really different situation from country to country. For example, Czech Republic and even Poland, they have a lot more of studies than Croatia or Slovenia, for example, or Serbia, even um, um, Macedonia in the Albania, they are probably in the, the worst position. But what we have to say is that Croatia is a small country and we do not have a lot of patients uh, with multiple myeloma, but still we can enroll uh, some patients with clinical trials, but we have a problem that the sponsors actually doesn't offer our uh, um, number of trials. So uh, if uh, I look back at the last 15 years in Croatia, we have only four trials uh, with multiple myeloma. And um, we actually uh, included a um, certain number of patients, in some more, in some less, but we saw the problem was also with the patients because the, some patients uh, refused to participate in our study. So we start a collaboration with uh, our patient organizations such as Myeloma Cro and the Croatian Leukemia and Lymphoma Association and start with the educational session uh, in order to, to, uh, to try to, to make our patient more willing to participate because we try to explain them what is the study and why they need to participate. Uh, but uh, still, we have a problem um, with um, with some some uh, patients because they need to travel to the centers that are doing uh, clinical trials, and it is not uh, easy to reach those centers. They need uh, some uh, family members to support them. They also need money uh, to pay someone to bring them to the institution. So there are a lot of pr problems uh, regarding the patient. But we also have a problem regarding administration because it is too complicated uh, for the sponsors and um, uh, they need to invest a lot of money to start the clinical trial and then do not have an, a good number of desirable number of patients. What is also a problem is um, the management of the hospital. Because um, for our as uh, investigators or as researchers, uh, we need to do all the work uh, regarding the clinical trials by 
myself or my colleagues, we do not have study nurse. Our nurse that is doing her regular everyday job needs to have an extra time to help us doing some study procedures. So I think that we really need to convince our um, management, our hospital management to invest uh, and to build on clinical trial units uh, so become um, it, it will help us to, to do that um, doing a clinical study will become more easier and not that uh, that hard work for uh, the clinicians. And uh, we also have a um, um, different problem when uh, we uh, discuss with the sponsors because they really need uh, a long long time uh, after submit the page, the paper to the ethic committee and it lasts for six or seven months even to get approval from the ethic committee and then more than one or two months to sign the contracts with the hospital so it is a, a really a long time period to activate study centers that is also a problem and what we can do to solve those problems is um, trying to collaborate with the other countries that have a similar problems, but um, it will not help with the sponsor, sponsor trial because um, in every country the regulatory uh, the the law is different, and uh, the sponsor needs to get get approval from the, every country. But maybe it can help to us uh, to participate in um, um, in um, investigator initiated study, in academic study, and that maybe can help us if we collaborate. In, and then in that kind, of we, we in that way we can have uh, more patients, more more number of patients. And also there is a problem about um, visibility because I think that. Um, some of our doctors, uh, our investigators, are not uh, uh, actually present in the uh, European community, in the European myeloma community, and that is uh, also a big problem. 